welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for checking me out. My name is Eli, and I'm your guitar instructor. And today, I wanted to go over something a little beginner to intermediate for you guys out there, gals even, struggling with your bar chords. I wanted to give you a little exercise to help strengthen your bar and finger. So, without further ado, let's get into the one finger funk. Okay, so like I was saying in the intro, today, I wanted to go over what I call the one finger funk. This is a, this is an exercise I've shown many students over the years to get better at barring multiple sets of strings and also just add a little funk into your life, a little rhythm without getting complicated with too many chords. Okay, so without too much dithering on, I will show you the one finger funk. All right, so like the name would state, this requires one finger. I'm gonna take my index pointer finger whatever you call this, write it down in the comments down below. It's an index, pointer, first finger, come here finger. What do you call this? Anyway. All right, so we're gonna take one finger. I'm gonna focus today mostly on the bottom three strings, G string, B string, high E string. And all we're gonna do is bar all three of those strings at the fifth fret. You can do this anywhere, but for today, my example is gonna be in A minor and that is here at the fifth fret. So that's the sound we're trying to accomplish. Three notes, all barred with one finger. So important distinction to make here, my thumb on the back is also applying a decent amount of pressure, so it's not a pulling force with my index finger trying to use all my index finger strength to keep these fingers down, I have my thumb also pushing from behind, making kind of a clamp, like a squeezing. And my thumb is essentially right behind my index finger, but everyone's hands are kind of different, but if you're having problems with getting all three strings to ring clearly, maybe adjust your thumb positioning. I know a lot of people I see will do this, wrap the thumb over the top, makes it pretty hard to get that leverage. So I highly recommend thumb on the back, maybe on the stripe, if you have a stripe, skunk stripe, you know, just somewhere at the apex of the neck, wherever's comfortable that allows you to apply the squeeze. All right, so the exercise is as such. So we're gonna take a funk rhythm. So with the right hand now, we're gonna go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So just alternate up and down, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So we're kinda of doing like a 16th note. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a. And then with my left hand, this is also important, I'm not fretting, I'm just holding the strings, muting them out. So we're not hearing, there's no notes really happening here. And I'm literally just laying my fingers on top of the strings, stopping them from vibrating. But I'm gonna have my hand in position here at the fifth fret with my index finger ready to apply the squeeze. So I'm gonna have my index finger here on the bottom three strings. My other fingers are gonna help here with the muting, and then my right hand is gonna be doing the 16th note up and down. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So funk rhythm really focuses hard on the one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and on our one, we're gonna apply the squeeze and play our bar chord here, our little three note chord. So here we go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you can practice with that, 
get a metronome going or just even count your own rhythm like I'm doing. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And start to experiment with different rhythms. Like right there, I hit a double strike, a double, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three e and a four e and a single, double, triplet. So you can kind of see how this works now. Just you have this constant one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a right hand, kind of keeping the time. Think of this like a like a drummer's hi hat hand. And then with your left hand squeeze, you're kind of hitting like maybe the horns. But Ba -na, ba -na -na, da -da -da -da, you know, whatever kind of rhythm you want to think of is totally cool. So I highly encourage you experimenting with just different rhythms, subdivisions, hitting on different numbers inside of our beat. One, two, three, four, or one and, two and, you know, striking on different parts of our, of our division, of our rhythm division. Okay, so another thing I like to show here for my one finger funk is sliding into your chord, which is a very funky thing to do. So what we're going to do is now we're going to start here on the fourth fret, barring all three strings, but we're still in A. So what I'm going to do on my one is I'm going to strike, apply the squeeze, and then slide all three notes up. My thumb, as stated before, comes up with it. Or you can kind of keep it planted. And just slide the index finger over. But right, so here we go. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four. So sliding, you can go back and forth like I did right there. I find it's always kind of best to land on the, the note you're sliding to and not the opposite. Depending on what you're going for, but that's just personal preference. So you can slide into your bar chord, your one finger funk here. So we can obviously change chords here as well. So we're here at the fifth fret, A note. So I'm kind of basing everything off this high E string note. So that's an A note. So I'm gonna to go to my four chord, which is a D note. So I'm just gonna keep the same shape here. So I'm gonna find my D note on my high E string here at the 10th fret. So now I'm gonna switch chords. I'm going to start here at the fifth fret, bar, finger, one finger funk. Here we go. All right, chord change. Chord change. Slide. Okay, so that's a one to four kind of progression there. So I think just that alone is enough to get you jamming. So one, one chord, awesome. Two chord, double awesome, right? That's just basic guitar math. So let's throw down a little loop right here, show you how you can apply this one finger funk to your practice, to your jamming. So here we go. One and a two and a three and a four and a.
got to get that one. One. Okay, so hopefully you can see there how you can just do your basic kind of minor pentatonic jam over that. But I highly encourage you to practice the one finger funk. You can move this across all the keys, obviously. I'm just going from a one chord to a four chord, which is an A to a D. A, B, C, D. A is one, B, C, D is four. All right, so we'll just jam you out and uh, send you to the outro. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. Um, I'll give you more in the outro, but I hope you found this interesting, entertaining, all the good stuff. So have a great funky, funky day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you again. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. If you did find it entertaining, educational, or interesting at any point, I do encourage you to hit like down below, press subscribe, notification bell if you want more from me in the future and want to know when I drop a new video. Thank you so much for checking me out today. We're still a growing channel. I appreciate all you coming in now, showing your support, and just genuinely, I want to thank you for checking us out today, and we'll see you next time.